Niger coup. Niger military junta suspend UN agencies, NGOs from military operation zones. Niger coup leaders have stopped UN agencies, NGOs, and international organizations from working in military operation zones. The Interior Ministry, in a statement broadcast in National Radio on Thursday, said international organizations, national and international NGOs, and UN agencies were temporarily suspended due to the current security situation in the country. Without specifying which region are affected, a ministry statement broadcast on national radio said, due to the current security situation and operational commitment of the Nigerian Armed Forces, the ministry informed international organizations, national and international NGOs, and UN agencies present in Niger that all activities and all movements in the zone of operation are temporarily suspended. Nigerian President and Chairman of Economic Community of West African States ECOWAS, Bola Tinubu, on Thursday, insisted that sanctions imposed on Niger Republic would not be lifted until the restoration of the outside President, Muhammad Bazoum. In a statement issued by the President's Special Advisor on Media and Publicity, Ajuri Ngelale, Tinubu said when he met with the Nigerian Supreme Council of Islamic Affairs, led by the Sultan of Sokoto, Mohammed Saad Abubakar III, at the State House, he said, Nobody is interested in a war. We have seen the devastation in Ukraine and Sudan, but if we don't use the big stick, we will all suffer the consequences together. Your Eminence, please don't get tired. You will still go back there. The soldier's action is unacceptable. The earlier they make positive adjustments, the quicker we will do back the sanction to alleviate the suffering we are seeing in Niger. On the hardship faced by many Nigerians post for subsidy removal, the president assured that all ongoing reform will liberate and reposition the economy, which would benefit the majority of the population in terms of opportunities, infrastructure, health care, and education. Nigeria is headed for a promise. Our diversity will turn into prosperity, not adversity. We will build a country that our children will be proud of, the president said. The president informed the delegation that the federal government had begun discussion with state government to provide land for animal husbandry and agro-allied production and processing facilities for mass export, job creation, and revenue generation. If Nigeria is still looking for vaccines, for basic health issues, infant and maternal mortality is rampant, then we should examine ourselves. I will commit to consulting with other leaders like the NSCIA and we will meet the need of our people, he added. Thank you for watching and don't forget to follow us on Casa TV on YouTube and Facebook. Remember to drop your comment, tell us what you think about our videos and help share our videos. Thank you.